Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Yeah, and just being an artist, I was saying earlier, like, when you look on socials, regardless, if you try to keep that level-headed or yeah. positive mentality, as soon as you hop on the Instagram or Twitter, you got the girls yeah. with the ass out, you got the, hey, I got these much bands on yeah. me by this yeah. car, so how do you remain level-headed within yourself? Because I'm sure as a creative, it do feel like, man, damn, this is what these people want to see. Like, for me, like, you got to understand what's a viral moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, understand what that shit is. A lot of times, a viral moment is based off of something that's not even real. It's it's funny shit. Like, you just, done, you caught away, you done went viral. That's what it is. So when you go into it thinking about that, all right, you can do what you gotta do to be viral, but maintain your morals and values. Man. You know what I'm saying? I always been a, a street nigga, or a gangster with morals and values. Man. You know what I'm saying? It's consequences behind every action. You feel me? So, do what you gotta do to go viral, but stay, Stay in tune. Niggas with money, a lot of these rappers, they lonely. Yeah. They don't know what to do when them hoes ain't right there. Or whether these bunch of niggas ain't around them. But I'm a loner though. All I need is my wife and my daughter, my brother, his wife, my family. Nigga, I'm good on this. Yeah. I don't need nothing else, man. You know what I'm saying? But shit, you know, go viral. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do to go viral. It's a bunch of ways you can do that shit. Yeah. The game right here for us, we got everything we need. Yeah. Everything, nigga. Yeah. I got a question too, it's kind of off. Like, we're yeah. not really off talking, but you know, kind of like what we was talking about right now. Uh, what's your opinion on like, you know, artists putting us these diss songs or putting peop dead people in their songs? And, Cause you know what I'm saying? That's another, like you said, a viral moment. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people, it's become a trend now that just like rap about drugs, you know, for the last 10 years became yeah. a trend yeah. to some of these people. This whole putting Man. dead people music or putting dead people in their music becoming a trend too. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't, I don't fuck with that. Now it's a couple artists that I fuck with that do that shit. That's on them. You know, we all men, but I wouldn't do that. If that nigga did, bro, let that nigga rip. That's it. I don't like that shit. I don't think that shit cool. I don't like that shit at all, nigga. If that nigga did, yeah, you might not like him, but shit, it's over. It's a wrap, bro. I don't like that shit, dog. Because if you want to be real, I got an unpopular opinion. I'm gonna say some shit that a lot of people don't like. But most three died because he wanted to, my nigga. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. That's no disrespect to nobody that support him. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Listen to that last album. Hey, he spoke that shit. He was rapping about his death. And what happened? You know what I'm saying? So when you put that shit out there, it's gonna come back to you, bro. Yeah. Whatever you put out there, gonna come back to you. If you living by the gun, you gonna die by the gun. I ain't active no more in any way, shape, form, or fashion. On no street shit, nigga. I'm done with that shit. Now, my foot enough, I know what's going on, but I'm done, bro. You ain't gonna catch me doing that. I'm good, bro. Cause I don't want to die like that. I would live in reckless and fast. I pray to God that none of my sins come back on me, my wife and my daughter, man. You know what I'm saying? For real. So that that shit, that shit dead. Anybody can be touched. But she don't talk about no, you know, you know what I'm saying? Sure. But they doing that to keep up. And then when it's time to get active, ah, bro, it was just, nah, yeah. but that nigga you talking about, he for real. He living like that. He really want to do you something. But you was just internet bumping. Now you in a position where you gotta do something. You in front of your bitch, you in front of your homies. So is you gonna lay down or you gonna fight? Now you gotta die. Yeah, now you gotta do you what you say you gonna do in them songs. Yeah, yeah you, you in front of the camera too now. You in front of the camera now, getting recorded. what you gonna do. For sure. So just uh, talking a little bit about last year, you know, it was a little transition for everybody. Shit shut down. You know, it was a big virus scare. How, how was that time for you, transition yeah, over? It was normal. I always been like that. I ain't never. I'm a simple nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really do. I make music. I pop out if I'm getting paid. You know what I'm saying? If I'm go to the club, we definitely got a section. Yeah. But I ain't going just to be around, nigga. I'm too paranoid for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I done seen a lot of shit. I don't like that. I get very uncomfortable. And it's spaces with a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So I remove myself, so don't nobody even think that, that nigga vibe off or something like that, bro. So I always been like that. This pandemic shit is right up my alley. Mm -hmm. Studio sessions always closed out. I'm a closed out fast nigga. I put on Instagram what I need to, and that's it, bro. Niggas will never know what's going on with me. You gonna always have to get So that shit was perfect for me. It was perfect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't have no problem being locked in the house. Yeah, yeah. Got everything I need. We drank, 
I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Something that we talked a little bit, uh, it was off camera, but you know, being an artist and like investing in yourself, do you feel like, because we see that shit all the time, being a yeah. media network, that artists think hey, you just go to the studio, make a song, and you fucking, you know what I'm saying, yeah. rolling loud. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it's like people don't realize it's steps it. and shit like it's that. So, it, bro. Like, just what would you be your advice to somebody? Because, like I said, you've been in the game in some way, shape, or form for 12 years. My you advice think? would be to somebody, just, when I'm, the advice I'm gonna give, I'm talking to myself. Invest in yourself. You are responsible for your career. Spend the money. Even if it's your last, nigga. If you know you're gonna get it right back, spend that shit, bro. Especially if it's worth it. You are responsible for your investment. Pay that money to stay down for production. Pay that money to Hot Dogs TV. Pay that money to say cheap. Pay that money and get on them platforms because how else the fuck you gonna get seen? How else you saying you wanna start being able to get booked for a show? How you gonna do that? You gotta invest, bro. You gotta spend money on yourself, bro. Everybody who ever started Bam told me that. Rizzo told me that. Willie D told me that, Zero told me that, Slim Thug told me that. You gotta invest in yourself. We just see the baby. We just see little baby. But we didn't see the four, five years where they was on my mixtape, Spin Really, that piff and shit. Trying to get up there. High Boy West, prime example. Yeah. I've been on High Boy West. You know what I'm saying? That nigga done fucked around and got signed. That yeah. shit live, nigga. It feel good when you see niggas like that. I was just talking to them the other day. Just regular yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with artists like that. Stunner Bam, Hot Boy West. Still in touch with the niggas who don't nobody know. Telling us, like, you can do it too, bro. Stay down. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. That shit hard, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That motivation. Yeah, I live like a rapper, bro. You know what I'm saying? I live like a rapper. I ain't got nothing to prove, bro. I really want to make music. I really want to. I don't want nothing else that come with that shit. I don't want no fame. I just want the money. I'm already right. living good, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't need that shit. It's an illusion, bro. These niggas be lying. So we already halfway through this year. Actually, now take it back to the album. Where did you get the title from? Cause that's a live title, Street. So Demon. I got the uh, title Street Demons. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit, a nigga was in them streets. I was battling them demons. You know what I'm saying? The hardest battle you gonna ever have is with yourself. So that's what I titled it, Street Demons. Just trying to find my way. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like with yourself is crabs in the bucket. You trying to climb out the bucket, but you got all these demons, pills, hoes, you know what I'm saying, with society, the world, you feel me? And that shit pulling you down, and you trying to kick it and fight it and become the best version of yourself. So that's what this album is all about. You Motherfucker, know, listen to my album, Street Demons, you going to know what I've been through in the last five years, you know what I'm saying? You going to know the death, the drugs. The heartache, the pain, the mistakes a nigga made, you know what I'm saying? That's where that name came from, Street Demons, you feel me? Oh, yeah, somebody who may not have heard the project, if you're telling somebody right now, what's that one song to you that, on a personal note, you would be like, this is a good starting point? Yeah, loyalty. Check loyalty. number four. Yeah. Loyalty, that shit personal than a motherfucker. I'm talking that shit. And I, it, it's personal, but everybody can relate to it. Yeah. Everybody can relate to what's going on in the world, and the police killing us and shit. Everybody can relate to losing loved ones. I'm 27 years old, nigga, so you know, I'm getting to that point in my life where people in the family that we really fuck with, they starting to pass away and see that shit. The cycle of life, that shit's scary, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Everybody go through it. And I, see, that shit hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? So if you, you, if you want to listen to one song on my album, that's for sure, for sure, Lord, that's the one right there. And what about some visuals? Can we expect some visuals coming soon? Yeah, absolutely. I got a visual for loyalty. We just dropped that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check it out. Y'all gonna see it everywhere anyway. Y'all go ahead and check it out. I got plenty of visuals coming. Interviews on the way. Work with High Thoughts TV in the work. You know what I'm saying? So we, we working. Once again, to the artists just like me. In the same position as me. You know what I'm saying? I have the relationship. I know the artist that's on. But I gotta put it in the work. Nigga, that's what I'm doing. Invest in yourself. Put it in the work. This is what make you who you are when everybody find out about you. Don't give up, nigga. Stay down. For real. Keep going. Hard than a motherfucker. Even if it's only three, four hundred views on your shit, go hard. Keep going. If you, 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 you can't blow up if you don't be consistent. Every day. Put it in their face. Pop your shit. Every day.